Hey there, Berg here, and today we're going to be doing some more What Would You Do If? Now, I really enjoy this. It's a bunch of questions, and I did notice that there are some questions that I've already answered, and if I accidentally answered them again, I do apologize. But again, I don't really remember what I know, I remember some of the questions that we've already answered, but I don't remember all of them, so most likely... It could happen, again, that I might answer one or two questions that if we've already gone through. And I can't really talk today because I'm, like, really hyped up on Mountain Dew. If you guys don't know, I think I've mentioned this so many times, but I don't drink coffee. So the way I have the caffeine is usually either through tea or um, soda. Usually the my preferred soda is Mountain Dew. So that's why if um if I'm like shaking or kind of moving around a lot, that's probably why. So we're just gonna get into it. What would you do if you could spend a day in one movie universe? Visit Hogwarts? That sounds amazing. I know um in my Universal vlog, I only got to go to Hollywood Studios and over here in Universal Studios in Orlando. The Hogwarts Castle is in Islands of Adventure, so I didn't get to go to that park. I only went to Universal Studios, but I did get to see Hogwarts like from a distance. It's so pretty. I want to go. Ugh. So, uh, visit Hogwarts is definitely right now my top choice. Party in the Shire, yeah, mm, it's compared to Hogwarts, it's pretty much nothing. Cuddle with Ewoks. Okay, the Ewoks are so cute. The little teddy bear looking um, creatures in Star Wars. Oh, they're so cute. Mm. Oh, I would love to cuddle with one, but uh, Hogwarts, it, it, Hogwarts wins. For me, it just wins. I love Hogwarts. Well, I say I love Hogwarts because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I need to reread, um, rewatch some of the movies and reread some of the books, although the books are really long. It, because it goes into so much detail, which I do love. I think I have some of the books here. I need to go dig them up and start reading again. And luckily, I'm in the majority on that one. 18% 18 for the Shire and Ewoks. Ewoks would have definitely been my second choice, but, I mean, compared to Hogwarts. Come on. Have you seen Hogwarts? It is so pretty. Oh, I would love to go to school there. What would you do if you could become the ultimate leader over a country of your choice? Didn't I already answer this question? It looks familiar. I don't know. I'm going to answer it again because it looks familiar and I don't remember. Uh, pick a dysfunctional country and fix it. Ugh, that's a lot of work. I mean, just to figure out all the problems. Plus, if there's corrupt politicians, you got to get them out. And then uh, if there's any natural disasters that's ruined your country, you have to fix that too. And all of that costs money except firing the politician. That will actually free up some money. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work. Oof. Choose a rich country and help the world? True, I could have my own country that's already rich. Use that money to help other countries fix their crap. That is a good option. Choose a rich country to live good yourself. Yeah, but if you just, you have a rich country, you're loving the life, but you get to see the world and the rest of the world is like... They're all suffering. That's, I don't know, if I had money, if I ever have, like, any good amount of money, I'm always, like, at least one third of that is going to help, like, charities and to help other people. Because, yeah, it's good to live yourself, but it's no fun to have the good life and to live good if no one else is happy as well. And it's, what's the point of being happy? No one else is happy. Unless you're just that kind of jerk. But no, I would have a rich country help the world. That's what I would do. It, it would benefit everyone. That everyone can be happy. And thank you. Faith in humanity kind of restored. More than 52% people agree with me. And then 24% each. I can see why you want to fix a country. But again, if you don't have that many resources to begin with, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough because you have to first find the problems and then think about what's the best solution. Finding a solution that's the hard part. So well, it that's just what I think. It, I know maybe one of you might have a different opinion. That's your opinion, but that's just what I think. Um, uh, we've already answered this one. I know that for certain. Time travel. 
And I think I, uh, I, uh, I think we've already answered, it said I've already answered it, so. What would you do if you encountered an alien? Ooh, cool. Try to kill the alien? No. What if they're friendly? Try to reason with the alien? Yeah. Or just run away? That's like everyone's first, that'd be, I'm pretty sure that's everyone's first choice. Just run away or kill it. No, I'm. Actually, I try to reason with it. What if they're friendly? What if they're just curious about Earth? Well, <laughs> a little bit of faith, more faith in humanity restored. Try to reason with the alien. Try. Oh, I'm actually shocked. A lot. Oh, uh, not many people would actually try to kill it. No, oh, it's good to know that people who answer this question have the same mindset as me. What would you do if you took over the media and its money? Oh, oh, that is a good question. Wow. Okay, if I took over all of the media and the money, go on a shopping spree, great. Uh, don't use fake news and stories or take over the world. I'd start off, just get rid of the fake news. Seriously. Wow, that was almost like split. Oh, wow. Well, I'm kind of a, I will take over the world. That's yeah. That's kind of my second. Oh, that is my second option. Take over. You have all the money. Might as well. You control all media. Then you you pretty much took over the world right there. Which is kind of sad to say, but it's true. Well, I'm in a majority on that one. Thirty percent on a shopping spree. Which, if I didn't want to take over the world, or if I didn't want to stop fake news, then maybe. But that's, like, not really a big thing for me anyway. What would you do if you had to remove one site? Uh, Facebook? Wow, that's... Facebook is really how I keep in touch with a lot of my family members. And some of my ex-classmates. But really, it's my, that's where I keep in touch with my family members that I don't get to see very often. YouTube? Well, <laughs> I'd say goodbye to you guys. I don't want that. Twitter? Okay, I could... I actually didn't have a Twitter until like maybe two months ago. That I've only had my Twitter for a few months, so uh, I'd have to choose Twitter. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of Twitter. I mean, I still have faith. Yeah, <laughs> thank you, YouTube. Like only two percent. Everyone's just hooked on YouTube. No one watches, you know, cable TV or actual TV channels. No one. Very few people. They have it just to have it. But really, yeah. Oh, Facebook, really? Huh. I get rid of Twitter. I can't get rid of my Facebook. If I had to have just one social media, like, for communication. Well, I guess YouTube counts as well. But other than YouTube, and I had to, get, uh, I had to keep another one, it'd be Facebook. Because that's... Don't get me wrong. I like Twitter. Don't get me wrong. Twitter is nice. I'm getting, I'm getting used to it. And I actually quite like it. I see the point of it. But... Facebook, I I, te I tend to use more anyways to keep in touch with my family members and those I don't really see very often, including the friends that even live like an hour away from me. So uh, what would you do if you could see people's... Oh, wait, we've already answered this. I, um, I think I said either work for FBI or become a social genius. I think so. Uh, what would you do if you suddenly got the look of a monster? Did I get this question? Well, it, it didn't say I answered it, so I'm going to answer it anyway. Suddenly got the look of a monster. Stay home for the rest of your days. Kill yourself. Oh, that's a little excessive. Wait a minute. I did answer this. Did I? Go outside and scare me. No, I said to stay home. I, I don't know why it said that I didn't answer it. Of course, everyone said go outside and scare people. I'm pretty sure I just answered that. Oops, my bad. Um... What would you do if your complete loser future self came to your house? Save your life? Assume it's fake or work together to achieve great things. Um, loser future self came. Save your life? What does that mean? They're not dying. Like, your future self is not dying. I'd say work together. Yeah, they may be a loser, but maybe they don't want to be a loser. I mean, there. See? 64% of people agree with me. Thank you. 
Uh, what would you do if a cockroach... Oh, wait, I remember this one. <laughs> I remember that one. Uh, what would you do if you could choose a superpower? Oh, the question that has beckoned mankind for generations. Or at least ever since the creation of comic books. So, ability to fly, but you can't use your arms. Wait, there's a catch? Super strength, but can't run. Invincibility, along with no speed while you do it. Hmm. Can't use your arms, but you have the ability to fly. What? What's the point? I don't want... I want to fly, but I would like to keep my arm... Well, I at least have movement in my arms. There's super strength, but I can't run. I can't... I can't really run any... Well, I can run, but... Mm, Super strength. I'm not that strong anyway, so I'm fine. And that's, I'm, I'm gonna, I never had a nosebleed in my life. Thank you. I'm the majority on that one. I've never had a nosebleed. But if that's the only price I have to pay to be invincible, even if it's temporary, like, like short span of time, and then there's like a cool down, and then I can have it again, then another cool down, I take it. I mean, and even in that short span of invisibility, a lot can be done. Unless it's like five seconds and maybe only a few things can be done. But, eh, you know, it'd be worth it. Um, and I think, what time, how long have we been? Almost 12 minutes. Uh, that's going to be the last one I do for tonight. What would you do if your best friend has passed away and you've unknowingly been hanging out with their twin? Oh... Uh, first off, are you sure you're their best friend if you couldn't even tell the difference? You might want to think about that first. Uh, continue the friendship. End the friendship. I wouldn't end the friendship just because it's their twin and you didn't know. Uh, either one of the two and then write about it. That would be an interesting book or at least an interesting short story. Uh, I'd say continue the friendship. It's like, oh, well, um, I thought you were them. But it seems like we uh, have a lot in common, so we can still be friends. That's what I would do. And I'm in the majority on that one again. Um, well, that was a lot of interesting questions. I think the superpower one really got me. But I, again, I want to fly. If I really had to choose one superpower, for me, it would be to fly. Because one, I wouldn't have to... The learning how to drive, I wouldn't... It wouldn't matter because I could fly everywhere. Uh, and that saves a lot of gas money and transportation. I won't have to worry about traffic. Well, traffic in the air like airplanes. Like if I got near, sort of near an airport, I would have to kind of let them know that I'm in the air and so to just watch out. I would think so anyway. Or just have at least like a flashing light. Like if you're on a bicycle, just that one flashing light <laughs> to let them know that you're there. Oh my god. Oh, I can just imagine that. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so yeah. That would be my superpower. I don't know what you guys picked. But yeah, there was a lot of good questions here. I'm actually quite surprised. A lot of questions I've already seen. And if there was some questions that I thought I remembered answering and I didn't actually answer them. Again, I do apologize. I My memory, it sucks when... It sucks uh, with the... Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, I'm so hyper I can't even think. My memory sucks with two things. One, names. I can recognize your face, but your names I am so not good with. And then two, if you asked me something or told me something, I I won't, If even if it's like a few days ago, I won't remember because I'd be focusing on something else. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.